Hello, it's Alina from Exact Meet Mastery with this Tuesday's Tech Tip. And what we want to discuss today is how to utilize note templates, um, how to use them, save them, and implement them as a time-saving device in writing estimates, and especially with supplement estimates because I note every line item that I ask for on my um, estimates here. So I have Exact Meet pulled up. We've got our um, original statement of loss line items here. This uh, roof was paid for by an insurance company and they paid for remove replace shingles we've got our felt got our pipe jacks and we've got our turtle vents that they paid for however they missed the drip edge chimney flashing step flashing and counter flashing there's probably more even more items that i could add here but i just wanted to keep it kind of simple for this demonstration video so what we've got here is our drip edge now why are we asking for drip edge well in this particular area the municipality requires it so i'm going to double click on this note okay so at the line item level we're going to double click on the note or you can highlight the line item and click attachment. So there's two ways, two schools of thought on that, whatever's easiest for you. I'm used to just double clicking on the note template here. Um, and then if you're an old school Xactimate user, these are used to be called F9 notes because you could highlight the line item and then hit F9. That doesn't work on my Acer computer. That's a newer computer and I don't know why. So I've just gotten into the habit of double clicking right there on that note template and then it comes up, all right? So I could put in here the municipality of Austin, Texas, or wherever we are, requires that drip edge be added at the eaves and rakes of the home, blah, 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 blah. You state the code. Of course, you always wanna copy the code and paste it here just so it's easy for them to reference and show why they paid this line item. Um, but, you know, I'm gonna be writing 50 estimates in Austin for, you know, this week, so I don't wanna have to type it all out every single time. So what I've done is saved it as a note template is what it's called. So if you look here, it's like a little rubber stamp. I'm gonna pull up my note templates here and you can see I have a whole history of notes. Every time I type something that I think I may use again in the future, I save it as a note template because why should I have to type it again? Um, so here we are in my note template list and you could actually search your note template list. It, you, it's not apparent, like there isn't a search box. But if I hit D on my keyboard, that'll bring up the D section because it's alphabetized. And I can look here for drip edge. Aha. So I've got drip edge for Elizabeth, Colorado. So I can just add that. Let's see, we're working in Elizabeth today. And um, here's what it says. Requires drip edge around the perimeter of the roof. I actually would prefer this to say eaves and rakes, but we'll go with this. Uh, see the roofing guidelines at, and then I give them the... Um, the web address like they could copy and paste and go find that or even better is if you can include the actual um, piece of code so let's move on to the chimney flashing here I'm gonna double click on that chimney flashing note go to my note templates and I'm gonna search my chimney flashing this is a good one this is where I cite code so the flashing of the chimney must be replaced da, 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 da. and here's why IRC code says we can't replace you know any existing flashings um, that are that, that are part of the assembly must be replaced when it's rusted, damaged, or deteriorated. And so our argument is when you pull that nail up and you bend that flashing, it is now deteriorated. So that's just one of the, or damaged, sorry. That's just one of the code items that we include that we try to get our um, chimney flashing paid and then of course include a picture which um, you can do in your photo section, but that's for another video. Um, but today, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to show you is I usually add one of these notes to every single line item that I add to my estimate. So they have the code right there and um, don't need to go search for it anywhere. It's ready to go. And there, I'm done. I'm done writing my estimate. I've completed adding my note templates pretty quick and easily. And uh, that's how note templates should be utilized. Now, what if you want to save a new note template? Like, uh, let's say here, maybe the counter flashing had hail damage. Okay. So we want to kind of edit this note here do, 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 do we can take this out and we'll put in here the counter flashing was found to have hail damage of course we include a picture to prove that and I can put C photo um, at the end of the report just so they know where to go let's say that I have a lot of these in this municip this um, suburb that have L fla or counter flashing with damage that shows. I'm going to use this over and over on the next 50 estimates. So I would go to the save note here that would allow me to save that and I would just rename it hail damaged L flashing or, or counter flashing with hail damage however you want to save it. 
just click there to show you what this looks like. This code is how you're going to be able to find it by alphabetical order, the way that I've been doing it. So don't hide your note templates from yourself. I've done that many times, named it something wacky, and then I could never find it again. So be sure to name them something that you'll be able to quickly and easily locate them. Um, so here I probably put in counter flashing hail damage just as an example. And then next time I need this, I just open up my note template, templates, type in, start typing in counter. So you can search with COU and it will bring up the counter flashing. And uh, then I don't have to type that again. So that's really the beauty and uh, time saving device of using, utilizing your note templates correctly. And then it's, you can go a step further and actually save these note templates in your macro. So that's a new option here, include attached notes in your macro. So when you throw your macro on, now it has every single line item you can ever think of, plus the note template to back it up so you don't have to type anything ever again. It's a beautiful thing. This has been Alina Wilson with Xactimate Mastery. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you get our updates every week. And also go to our website at xmatemastery.com forward slash blog. And there you can subscribe for our weekly Tuesday Tick Tips so these videos come straight into your inbox. See you soon.